This problem comes from the 2021 TMUA paper, and it's the last question of the paper. Um, I've done this with a lot of my students, and a lot of them get 99% of the way, and they answer the question, but they actually get the wrong answer. Let's see if you can solve it. Find the length of the curve with equation 2 log base 10 of x minus y equals log base 10 of 2 minus 2x plus log base 10 of y plus 5. And there were six options with this problem, but I've not given them just to make it maybe slightly harder or potentially easier. Um, let's have a look. Um, the first intuitive thing to do is kind of combine these logs, get rid of them, kind of simplify this equation. That's exactly what we're going to do. Let's bring this two up here and combine these two logs. So we get log base 10 of x minus y squared equals log base 10 of 2 minus 2x uh, times y plus 5. All the logs are base 10, so you can do this. Then just get rid of the log base 10s on both sides, and let's expand. So x squared minus 2xy plus y squared equals 2 minus 2x times y plus 5, so 2y plus 10 minus 2xy minus 10x. A little bit messy, but quite nice because the negative 2xy's cancel. And if we bring everything to one side, uh, we get x squared plus 10x uh, plus y squared minus 2y. And maybe I'll keep the 10 on the right hand side, like so. And now this has obviously got something to do with a circle. Let's complete the square. x plus 5 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 10 plus the 5 squared from this, so plus 25 and then plus the one squared from this, and that will give us 36. So this is the equation of a circle with center minus five, one. So minus five, one, let's draw that roughly speaking. So in fact, uh, minus five maybe here, one maybe here. And the radius of this is six. So it's gonna be quite a big circle, um, broadly speaking, something like that. That's a horrible circle. Uh, in fact, let me use the, the tools here that are built in. Let's see if I can get a circle to be drawn relatively nicely. Okay, that's a bit better. Let me move that along. Okay, cool. There's our circle. Pretty big, and it's got a radius of six, so this kind of makes sense, because that distance there, or that there to there is five, so it's a little bit more than that. Anyway, there is our circle, and you want to know the length of this curve. Well, it's a circle. We know that the length is two, or the length is just a circumference, so 2 pi times r, the radius is 6. So the answer should be 2 pi times 6, right, which is 12 pi. That's not quite correct. Why is it not correct? Because not all of these implications are uh, two-way implications. So essentially what we did here is we started with this. This implies this. This implies this. This implies this. This implies this. What, what on earth do I mean by that? That means that any x, y values that satisfy this original equation must satisfy this equation. However, the reverse is not true. Just because x and y satisfy this equation, it does not mean that it satisfies this equation. Now, how do we know which x, y is to select? Well, all of this uh, stuff, the main step being this guy here, was under the premise that all of the inputs of these logarithms were positive. So what we need to do is check that that's the case. So we need to check that x minus y is positive, i.e. x is bigger than y. We need to check 2 minus 2x is positive, i.e. x is less than 1. And we need to check that y plus 5 is positive, i.e. y is bigger than negative 5. Now, how do we do that? Well, thankfully, we don't have to do too much to, to, to kind of draw these on. So let's start with y being bigger than minus 5. Remember, this point here has coordinates minus 5, 1. And the circle is radius 6. So thankfully, if, if that point there is minus 5, minus 5, uh, so minus 5, minus 5, kind of the lowest point of the circle, we just want the y values of the points of the circle to be bigger than that. So that's pretty much every point on the circle, except that guy. Cool. No big deal. That's that guy dealt with. What about x being less than 1? Well, that's going to be this kind of tangent line here. Because uh, again, this, this point here is minus 5, so if I add 6 to that, it goes 6 units to the right, the radius of the circle, that's going to take me right to the to the edge here, so x equals 1. So apart from that point there, every single point on the circle is fine. So, so far, the length is still 2 pi, because if you take away 2 points, that's not going to uh, change the length of the, the curve. 
what about this guy? X must be bigger than Y, or in other words, Y must be less than X. So for this, we need to draw the line uh, Y equals X, which is gonna be a straight line passing through the origin, something like that at a 45 degree angle. And now I've drawn it, it looks like it's passing through there, but I guess we don't know just yet if that is the case. Um, that's what we need to investigate. Okay, how do we do that? Well, let's think about where it intersects the circle. Now it looks like it intersects minus five, five. So maybe we can just check that. Obviously that is gonna be when X equals Y and we know minus five, five lies on the circle. And so the line definitely does pass through that point. Okay, what point over here does it intersect the circle at? Well, it looks roughly like X is one, maybe roughly one and the Y value maybe again, roughly one. Does that satisfy the equation of the circle? Well, we can just check uh, if X is one and Y is one, one plus five is six, six squared is indeed 36 and one minus one is zero. So 36 plus zero, that does equal 36. So this point over here is also one, one, which is actually that point there, but that's because I haven't drawn it perfectly. Um, okay, so this straight line passes through the circle, intersects it twice at one, one and at minus five, minus five. And we want Y to be less than X. So that's this part of the circle, this smaller region of the circle. And so it's going to be a fraction of 12 pi. So 12 pi is the whole circumference. We only want to know this small part here. Now, how do we work this out? Well, we can just observe that this center of the circle is minus 5, 1. So to get it from minus 5, 1 to 1, 1, you just draw a perfectly horizontal line. How do you get from minus 5, 1 to minus 5, 5 down here? you just draw a perfectly vertical line, like so. And therefore, that guy there must be a right angle. And so this weird part of the circle over here must be precisely one quarter of the whole circumference. The whole circumference is uh, 12 pi, so a quarter will be 3 pi. And so that is our answer. The length of this curve is 3 pi. Now, that's the answer here. What should we take from doing this problem, seeing the solution, is that you have to be very careful, especially with the question 20s of the TMUA. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the TMUA, question 20 is the last question. Um, so there will be a twist in the tail. If it seems too, uh, too good to be true, it probably is. Uh, especially when you're dealing with logarithm problems, you always want to check any answer you get. Do, 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 if you plug it back in, do, do you get the inputs of the logarithms being positive? Because that is a prerequisite before doing any algebra with the logarithm. So that's something to just take in mind. Whenever you're dealing with an, an equation involving logarithms, just check, are the inputs positive? Something you gotta be careful of. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please do give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And good luck for any of you doing the TMUA very soon. Have a great day.